you're trying to raise capital for your business. Now, this is a very exciting time to be able to raise capital for your business. The first thing that you have to understand before you go into this process is that there are going to be expectations that the investors will have for you that you need to deliver on or that relationship with the the venture capital or the investors will not go very well. And then the second thing is you want to make sure that you actually have a plan for the cash. And the more specific the plan, the better. Because you don't want to just raise cash just for the sake of having it. I mean, or maybe you do. But if you are raising cash, what I advise you to do is to have a plan of what are you going to do if you get the cash? Because that will actually help you when it comes to comes to getting an investor. If you can actually tell them and show them, hey, these are the plans we have for the amount of cash that we're trying to raise. And then number three is you want to make sure that you have a valuation model, a model where you can continually look at and observe how are we doing. So after you get the cash, you want to make sure there's some way for you to report on, hey, what's going on? Here's the update of what's happening in the business. Here's what we did with the money or here's how much of the money is still in the bank. And here's the projects that we applied the money to. Because if you do not have a way to keep your investors informed about what's going on and about what's happening, about what you are doing with their money, it could damage your relationship with the investors. And not only that is, you could be making poor decisions and not even know it. So you want to make sure that you understand first, that there are going to be expectations, two, that you have a plan for the money, and then three, that you have a way to monitor what is going on in your business on a regular basis.